The bottom line of the review is that we have a resource recovery facility that has state-of-the-art controls that will achieve limits lower than any of the other resource recovery facilities permitted in the United States. I can assure you that every operating scenario under any worst case meteorological condition was looked at, every I was dotted, every T was crossed. And based on that, we think that the control that we have in place here represent best available control technology and impacts will not have any detrimental effect on the environmental justice community or any community at all. The PSD regulations are ahead of their time in that there are buffers in the system. We have a baseline concentration, we have a standard that protects their quality, and then we set a limit for the increment below that standard that can never be exceeded. So there can never be a situation that um, we have a violation of air quality, otherwise no permit would be given. The bottom line is that if you were to recycle 50% of the waste in Puerto Rico, there would still be a need for one or two incinerators to get rid of the waste. About mass barrels, simple mass barrels. Right. The proponents say that total ashes will be approximately 400 something tons per day. Yet, on the other hand, they're burning 2,100 plus tons per day of solid waste. That leaves still another 1,700 tons we have not accounted for. That's Where are they going? That's the busting. That's the busting. That's the what? It's the busting. You're saying that all of it is CO2 and water? Uh, quite a bit, yes. I disagree with that. Other than the pollutants listed in table one, the rest are going to, and there's some grouping of pollutants, the rest is basically carbon dioxide and water. Well, I think uh, if you look at the chemical content of those solid waste, you'll find a higher percentage of a lot of other elements that you need to look at before awarding that PSD. Thank you. Nosotros queremos reciclar, nuestra alternativa es reciclar el 100%, por eso apoyamos la basura cero.